All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Okay, which that means all praises to the Most High Father. Okay, which his name is Yahweh. Okay, in the name of the Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, um, uh, so. Uh, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Shed Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to go on this topic of, yes, evil spirits exist. Okay? They are real and they exist. Okay? And um, I'm going to start off with this scripture Okay, John 3 and 12. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell, tell of heavenly things? Okay, so some of the things when we tell you, okay, that we're not humans that have spiritual moments, but we're actually spirits that are living a human life. You know, some people can't get that. Okay, they can't grasp that concept. Okay, some people can't grasp the conf concept that people who uh, like smoke cigarettes, for example, have an unclean spirit on them or, or evil spirit. Okay, everything at the end of the day is all spiritual. Okay, everything. Okay, even things that, you know, uh, uh, may look like they're carnal. Okay, because those carnal things are, uh, you know, boils down to uh, being uh, fleshly, you know, if if it's not done in the right uh, perspective. Okay, the, the thing is that when we say in the Holy Spirit, okay, or having the Holy Spirit, which that is that truth or, or, or set apart spirit, okay, from the ways of this world. That's serving the, the Most High and His Father the right way and the right spirit, okay? And that's what the scriptures say, okay? About uh, John 4 and 23, it says, But the hour comes and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship Him. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? So that spirit and, and, and the truth is that you have to you have to have a set apart spirit, man. Okay, from the ways of this world. Because the ways of this world, okay, are 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 wicked. Okay. Um now going into yes, evil spirits exist, okay. Now you have things called, uh, you have, uh, in the Indian, uh, religion or beliefs, they have a thing called Sakra, okay? Now, um, the Sakra, okay, they go into, uh, about energy and different vibrations and stuff like that, okay? And then you have, in the, um, Chinese, they have, uh, a form called uh, key, okay, which goes into uh, the life force, life for life force and energy flow, okay, and these uh, these things that these uh, different uh, like the, the the chakra, which the Indians uh, believe and the the key which the um, Chinese culture believe, okay, all of these different cultures. Okay, throughout history, have their own form of uh, energy flow or what they believe um, is the actual structure to a human being. Okay, now these things are not in the right spirit. Okay, those things are not in the right spirit to, towards serving Yahweh by Simeon Sa. Okay, and the Holy Spirit, I should say. The, you know these these uh, life forces, okay? Yeah, they are. 
you know, you, you might get some something from out of them, but you're not getting the right thing. Okay? At the end of the at the end of this this key or chakra, the, the, the ways are, are death. The the ways onto Yahweh by Simyal Sai and serving him the right way is life. Okay? This is not this is not the right way to serve the Lord. Now, um I want to get this uh it's a couple scriptures. Um this is uh Leviticus nineteen and thirty one. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Okay? So this goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Which are you, the children of Israel. The Lord gave you your ways of how you're supposed to be living. Okay? And he said don't go after these familiar spirits. Okay? Which a lot of our people, they are into like voodoo and... Uh, Bruera, okay, and different other, you know, they're into Sacra, they're into these other different uh, spirits and spiritual things that are not the Holy Spirit, okay, okay, which that that's the, the serving the, the Lord the right way and how he so told you to make him, uh, uh, how to serve him, okay, not how you want to serve the Lord, but how he wants you to serve him, okay, now that's what the scripture said, you know, that the Lord seeks those to, to that you know that are in the spirit and in the truth to worship him okay so continuing on this is one uh i'm gonna continue on it says um a man in leviticus 20 and 27 a man also or a woman that has a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death they shall stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them okay now I'm gonna get this scripture. Um, this is uh Deuteronomy uh 18 and 9. It says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God gives you, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of these heathens. There shall not be found any, I mean, found among you any that makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses the divination. Okay, I'm going to go into these definitions. Okay, divination, witchcraft of the nations, belong um, of false prophets in a good sense of king's lips of his oracles. Okay, it says uh, witchcraft. Okay, it says divination. Okay, and an observer of times. Okay, let's see what this says. It says to make appear, produce, bring clouds. To practice soothsaying, conjure, to observe times, practice soothsaying, or spiritism, or magic, or augury, or witchcraft, soothsayer, enchanter, sorceress, diviner, fortune teller, barbarian, meon, meoninum, okay? To practice magic, enchanter, okay? Then it says, uh, an enchanter. Or a witch, okay. The word a chanter, enchanter, gotta get, gotta get some some Hebrew is nakas, okay. It says to practice divination, divine, observe signs, learn by experience, diligently ob observe, practice fortune telling, take as an omen, okay. Um, continuing on, it says is a a witch, right? Which is uh, kasap, kasap, yeah, kasap. It says uh, to practice witchcraft or sorcery, use witchcraft, sorcerer or sorceress. Okay, to whisper a spell. Okay, and in the modern day, witches and you know these sight these fortune tellers. Okay, these uh, uh, you know you got Ouija boards and. Uh, different uh, things like that okay it says uh, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee now America okay which is known as Babylon the Great 
they do literally all of these things okay now continuing on this is Leviticus 20 and 6 and the soul that turns after such is have familiar spirits and wizards to go a whoring after them I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people sanctify yourselves and be ye holy for I am the Lord your God okay so the Lord don't want us as Israelites to go after these spirits to you know up balancing in our chakras and you know whatever uh other things are, are out here you know looking into a Ouija board and you know being an enchanter or you know whatever the case may be okay the Lord wants us to lean on him okay for strength okay for 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 the guidance and everything okay to be holy worshiping the Lord in the Holy Spirit okay now, just to get a, a, a deeper understanding of how things work, okay, this is uh, 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh I saw the Lord, the Most High, okay, which this is Yahweh, sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Okay, so on the right hand of the Lord, okay, you have the, 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 the spirits, okay, which are the angels, okay, which the, 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 the son, Yahweh Shah, okay, he's, he's sitting on the right hand of Yahweh, okay, the most high, okay, but on the right hand, you have the angels, and on the left, you have the, 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 the uh, wicked spirits, okay, now it says, and the Lord, yeah, the Most High, Yahweh, said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner, right? So the, the spirits on the right hand and the left was talking. Okay, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? He said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and he and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these your prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil concerning you. Okay? So honestly, at the end of the day, okay. Nothing happens without the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh saying that it's okay for it to happen. Okay? But, at the end of the day, the ones that, that, are, that are truly down for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the ones that He chose to worship Him, okay, they're going to worship Him in the right spirit. Okay? And they're going to know what, what, where the evil spirits are and what, you know, what to do and, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, this scripture clearly shows you that the Lord allowed a lying spirit to be in the mouth of all of the, the prophets back then. Okay, a lying spirit. So, yes, evil spirits do exist. Now, this is another scripture. Amos 3 and 6. So, a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? So, there be, an, be evil in a city, and the Lord has not done it? Okay. So the Lord, at the end of the day, creates evil, and he creates uh, good, okay? Um, I believe that's um, Isaiah, um, the 45th chapter. Um, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, okay? So, the Lord is at the, at the end of the day, okay? When, when it's all said and done, the Lord is the one who creates everything, whether it's, be, whether it's good or evil, okay? But, you have people out here that, you know, as the scriptures say, that, are, you know, have that lying spirit, okay? And even on a deeper level... You have spirits out here that are that are sent out here that are just meant to just mess with people. Okay? Now, 
all of these nations on this planet, okay, they all have evil spirits on them, okay? You even have Israelites that have that have evil spirits on them, okay? But the ones that, that are the Lord's chosen elect, the ones that he chose to serve him the right way, those people are going to be serving him the right way. And I got to keep on nailing that point, okay? Exodus 7 and 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, So a miracle for you, then shall you say unto Aaron, Take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. Okay? And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent, right? Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and, and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron rod swallowed up their rods, okay? Now, you have people out here, Okay, that are into different things and different enchantments, and they may think that, okay, well, I'm into uh, chakra, and it's actually working for me, or, you know, like how uh, Pharaoh, okay, which are, you know, Hamites, okay, and his, uh, his magicians and sorcerers and wise men, okay, they had their different enchantments, and they was able to throw things down, and, you know, and their, and their uh, rods, Okay, became serpents. Okay, that's because the 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 lying spirit. Okay, which is not the Holy Spirit. Okay, is out there in this world, man. Now, as I said before, okay, you have the 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 uh, the the chapter book of uh, Job nine and uh, twenty four. It says, uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the face, faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Okay? Now, today, modern day America, well, yeah, modern day America is full of nothing but witchcraft, okay? Sorcery, okay? Evil spirits, okay? People are doing these, these you know, enchantments and they're thinking that it's working, but at the end of the day, you know, it's all up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiel Sah, okay, and righteousness that's going to prevail on this earth. Now, continuing on, this is Mark 5 and 2. And when he was come out of his ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, right? It said, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him. No, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broke in pieces, neither could any man tame him. So this unclean spirit that was upon this man, okay, it allowed him to do these things. Nobody, nobody could bind him, okay? It says, and always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying, and cutting himself with stones. Okay. But when he saw. Yahweh Shai afar off. He ran and worshipped him. And cried with a loud voice. And said. What have I to do with you? Yahweh Shai. Thou son of the most high power. Okay. Yahweh. I adjured thee. By Yahweh. By Shemuel Shai. That thou torment me not. For he said. Come. He said unto him. Come out of the man. Thou unclean spirit. And when he and he asked him, "What is your name?" and he answered, saying, "My name is Legion, for we are many." Okay, so this man that had the unclean spirit on him, he had many spirits on him. Okay, and he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. Okay, was this of pigs? And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith, Yahweh gave them leave, and the unclean spirits 
went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. So about 2,000 swine had ended up getting killed, okay, because that's how many spirits was on this mat. Okay, so yes, evil spirits do exist according to the scriptures, okay? Yes, people out here do get evil spirits on them. You let these Christians tell it, they don't, they, you know, they just think that that's just randomly people, you know, things happening to people, okay? A, a random man, you know, they, when you, when you hear it on the news, I don't know, he was always a good guy, you know? Well, that because that, that guy that just zapped out, you know, the Lord put an evil spirit on that person. Okay, now this is uh, Job 4, 4 and 13. And thoughts from the visions of the night when deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. So yes, there are such things as spirits, okay, coming and messing with people when you're asleep. Okay. You, you know, through the spirit, this video was inspired, okay, because I was, you know, linking up with the brothers and, you know, brothers was just going into how we all had different uh, things that happened to us through the spirit, you know, um, where, where, where spirits came and, you know, different brothers, you know, like the brother Karat is about was telling about his story, uh, in, in, um, in our camp, you know, he was telling about uh, his story about, you know, the things that he went through, you know. And I myself, you know, I, I have personally seen uh, things, you know what I'm saying, where spirits, he, you know, ended up messing with me, you know. So, so you know, at the end of the day, you got to know how, how to deal with those spirits, man, okay. Because that's a, you know... Um, Especially like in my my case, you know, you live by yourself, you know, you don't know what what may happen, you know, yeah, you just gotta gotta roll with the spirit, man, you know, because some sometimes them them evil spirits will come and and fuck with you, man, you know, so we gotta constantly uh you know pray, you know, of course being around the brothers is is a good thing, man, you know, because brothers got you know uh heavy spirits on them, you know, not not. A, a, a heavy spirit not you no know, evil spirits but you know sometimes that 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 comfort and that therapy could be there you know so so linking up with brothers is a is a great thing man you know so you know through the spirit this this lesson got inspired man from linking up with brothers okay it says then a spirit passed before my face the hair of my flesh stood up so when when job saw this you know first off he was fearing you know he was trembling i mean trembling and his bones were shaking, okay, and then when the spirit came, you know, the, 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 the flesh stood up. Now, a lot of these movies that, uh, that they put out, you know, especially these horror movies, you know, you see, a lot of people just look at them like, you know, they're entertainment, but these, these movies be real, man, okay? These, these, uh, movies, they get a lot of these, these ideas from the scriptures, Okay? It says it stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. And an, an, an image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, "So mortal men be more than just Yahweh So a man be be more pure than his maker." Now, one of the reasons why Job, okay, saw this, uh, this this uh spirit, okay, was because. The Lord, okay, in uh, the very first chapter of uh, the book, he allowed Satan, okay, to, uh, he made a bet with Satan, okay, to, to basically uh, test Job, okay, and I'm going to get it, okay, um, Job 1 and 7, and the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord, because you got a lot of people that think that Satan is fighting against the Lord. No, Satan does the, the work of the Lord, you know, what the Lord says for him to do, okay? And, and said, from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, 
Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears how by some y'all saw and excuse evil, evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for not? Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side that thou bless the work of his hands and the and his substance and his and and his substance is increased in the land, but put forth your hand now and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only upon himself put not forth your hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Okay, so Satan, okay, did what the Lord told him to do. Okay, you can touch everything that he that he has, but don't touch him. Okay, so so evil spirits exist. Okay, and sometimes those evil spirits. Okay, if you don't know any better, you know, if you just a regular person, which allow these spirits, okay, to 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 to, to deal with you, like these other nations and stuff like that, or you just don't know how to serve the Lord, you are gonna allow these spirits to, to overtake you, man. Okay, if the Lord ain't dealing with you, this is first. Samuel 28 and 3. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Sunim. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled. And, and when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by the prophets. Then Saul unto his servants, she, she, then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit in Endor, at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray you, divine unto, unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring him up, bring me him up, whom I shall name unto you. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul has done, how he has cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? Okay, so this woman knew that if she would have called, you know, these, you know, the spirit, okay, that, you know, Saul would have would have put her to death, right? But Saul disguised and, you know, he basically supplanted her, okay? And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, Is the Lord liveth there so no punishment happen to you? For this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto you? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why, why hast thou de deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid for what sawest thou. Uh, so what, what did you see, basically? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God ascending out of the earth, and he said unto her, What form is he? And he and she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. So this this woman with this familiar spirit, okay, she brought Samuel back. Okay, uh, it says, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to said to Saul. Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and, and Yahweh Basim Yahweh is departed from me and answers me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called you that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then says Saul, I mean, then says Samuel, Wherefore then does Thou ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from you and has become your enemy. Okay, so so Saul 
okay, wanted to know what was going on, okay, so he asked Samuel as if Samuel was the most high, you know, and, and Samuel basically said, why are you, why are you calling me, man, you, you know the Lord, you know, you, you basically are the Lord's enemy now, man, okay, and, 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 and Saul went even deeper into being the Lord's enemy when the Lord, when, when Saul went to go ask of this woman with the familiar spirits, okay, okay, it says, uh, and the Lord has done to him as he spake by me, for the Lord has rent the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, even to David. Okay? Um, I'm continuing on. Okay? Because Saul wasn't worshiping the Lord in the, you know, in the truth, in the, in the Holy Spirit. He ain't obeyed the Lord's uh, voice. Okay? Now, uh, through the Spirit, I just, you know, the scriptures uh, say it. Okay? Different brothers uh experience different um uh spirits and different things as far as how the spirit goes okay so through the spirit you know based off of what was uh brought out evil spirits do exist okay now i want to get into um another uh, point of the uh evil spirits existing okay um this is uh second thessalonians 2 and 3 let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sits in the temple of Yahweh by Shemuel Asai, so on himself that he is God, okay? Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told ye these things, and now... You know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Okay? For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now lets will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Right? And it says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders okay and this scripture is talking about edomites okay the so-called white man okay the caucasians okay the scripture says that their coming is after the working of satan okay so the through the through the scriptures the bible okay and and you know what their actions are so they are the wicked that the Bible speaks of, showing that they are God, okay, and and opposing everything that you know, you know, is set up, okay. It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that parents, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So no Edomite, okay, is going to be saved, okay. Now it says, and for this cause, God so send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie okay now when you look at everything that so-called white man do okay in this society is all lies okay everything from from the calendar okay on down to their medicine okay on down to their you know religion that everything their beliefs is all a lie okay and the Bible says that they're working is after Satan, okay, as the scriptures say that the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now who 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 um who rules this world right now? The so called white man. Okay. Now um through the spirit, everything in America puts a puts an evil spirit on you, man. Okay? Um it says Luke 11 and 24. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walks through dry places seeking rest and finding none. He saith, I will return unto my house whence I came, which you are that house. Okay? When you come into this knowledge and, and, and truth of how to serve the Lord the right way, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be clean. Okay? And you're supposed to have that unclean spirit off of you. Okay? And when he cometh, he finds it swept and garnished then go if he and take take of to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself 
Okay, so when you when you go back into the world, okay, you end up with more spirits on you than you than when you came back came into the truth. Okay? And and that seven is just, you know, the number of completion. It could be, you know, twenty, man. Okay? It says, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Okay, so people have spirits on them, okay, evil spirits, and then you have evil spirits that are sent out here to, to, to uh, you know, like, you know, you know, that are sent out here to mess with people, okay, that, that are in the, the, the spiritual realm that, that you may not be able to see, okay, that, you know, like how they put in these movies, okay, which a lot of these people that, you know, uh, are in the, 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 uh, you know, the military or, you know, clowns, which brothers were speaking about that when we linked up, you know, clowns be having spirits on them. You know, a lot of these actors, when they get into, uh, these movie roles, they get into a certain spirit, they conjure up, up spirits. Okay. Um, I'm going to get, uh. Two more scriptures, okay? And I'm going to end it. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of your help, outside, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of your help, outside, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, okay? So when when a person is depressed, okay, which most more than likely, if you're depressed, you have a you know a, a evil spirit on you and you're not... Leaning onto y'all by some y'all side, okay, for for uh, righteousness, okay. Um, a, a person that that's in the world, okay, that that doesn't have the Holy Spirit with them, they'll sit up there and tell you, oh, uh, you 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 uh, you're depressed. Well, you need to get on these antidepressants or you know, go on the so-called white man's medicine, and that medicine is just gonna put more spirits on you, man. Okay. It says, but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual, okay? And the Lord put these spiritual, um, you know, things out here for us to get, you know, like with the brotherhood, okay? The Lord put, you know, the natural remedies and stuff like that out here for, for us to, 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 to receive, okay? It says, but the natural man receives receives not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Sai, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay? And when we tell people that people have uh, evil spirits or that, you know, spirits exist, people don't want to hear it. Okay? When we tell people the truth, people don't want to hear it because they're, they're natural people. Okay? Carnal. Okay? It's foolishness unto them. D to, to know this truth and to understand why things are the way that they are. Okay? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, you have to be be spiritual, okay? And 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 first off, the Lord has to be dealing with you in the first place, okay? This is um Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, okay? The not with like this, the title of the lesson, there are evil spirits out here, okay? It's not talking about walking in the evil spirits, it's talking about walking in the Holy Spirit, okay? The, the set apart spirit, the spirit that Yahweh Bashim al gave unto us. Okay? And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Okay? So when you when you walking in the spirit in the right, the right spirit, okay, the Holy Spirit. You're not going to be doing the things of the other of the flesh because the flesh puts more spirits on you, okay? Whereas the Holy Spirit is going to, going to comfort you, comfort you, okay? So with that, man, hopefully this was a was an edifying lesson, man. I want to say uh, shalom till next time.